It's up to us to implement the intent of the legislature to have medical marijuana and do it in a way that does not result in law enforcement, whether state or federal or county, looking for the opportunity to go back into the courts, back in the legislature and shut this down. There's a future here, the future of administering medicine in a novel way, helping more people. Thank you. All right. presently the president of the Hawaii Association of Criminal Defense Attorneys. Uh, I came here because I thought it was a Grateful Dead concert. Uh, in any event, <laughs> yeah, we're here about medical marijuana uh, as medicine. Um, I have to say I'm a bit chagrined at this point in my life that we're not discussing legalization. Yet the fact remains is that without the assistance of Senator Sparrow and uh, Della Bellotti, we wouldn't be having this conference, we wouldn't be having this discussion, and we wouldn't be on the eve of opening up a whole new era of administering medicine in Hawaii. Uh, I have my own personal uh, experiences with this in the sense my father who died two years ago, he's 87, uh, he had lymphoma and within a few weeks uh, the lymphoma flipped and became leukemic. And it was a very painful end of his life. The last two weeks of his life he was in hospice, seeing patients literally uh, in hospice. Um, after years of being adamant that marijuana was uh, not appropriate, that marijuana was not to be seen as medicine, because of my father's weakened condition and deterioration, he ended up using marijuana. And frankly, that was what, up until the end, the last two weeks of his life were transformative in his opinion, as well as his endorsement of it. And he wrote a piece that ended in the uh, Michigan Medical Association uh, monthly magazine endorsing it. Having been a professor of medicine at the University of Michigan, Michigan State and Wayne State uh, Medical School, a neuropsychiatrist, this was quite a statement for someone coming from my father's background. So as I said, this is a transformative period in Hawaii. 
One of the concerns, and I have Dan Hempe here from Kauai, who's an attorney. One of the things that we're dealing with, and Della, who works with Eric Seitz, who's a renowned, nationally recognized constitutional law attorney, is the concern that there are people out there in the community, uh, in law enforcement, that have lived for almost 40 years on the war against drugs. Obviously, it's failed. Yet they still insist on criminalizing a drug, Schedule One marijuana. It's up to us to implement the intent of the legislature to have medical marijuana and do it in a way that does not result in law enforcement, whether state or federal or county, looking for the opportunity to go back into the courts, back in the legislature, and shut this down. There's a future here, the future of administering medicine in a novel way, helping more people. Thank you. yet they still insist on criminalizing a drug, Schedule One marijuana. It's up to us to implement the intent of the legislature to have medical marijuana and do it in a way that does not result in law enforcement, whether state or federal or county, looking for the opportunity to go back into the courts, back in the legislature, and shut this down. There's a future here, the future of administering medicine in a novel way helping more people. Thank you. Okay. For 
from uh, Council Member Tom Bird. He was your song. She likes it. 